Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown, and today we'll be playing some more Minecraft Ticket Legends. Um, last time we built this terribly inefficient reactor, but it has been producing ridiculous amounts of energy. So it's reached maximum core heat. Uh, it's using uh, it's using almost a millibucket per tick. <laughs> it's it's terribly inefficient. Um, but at least it's producing a lot of energy. We've got basically infinite yellorium, so we don't really care too much. And we're already producing cyanide. Now, what I didn't know is that you can basically copy and paste cyanide. So we've learned the recipe for cyanide. And there's really no reason to keep this big reactor f going anymore because we've got basically infinite energy. But... I'll show you a couple of things that you would normally do to create plutonium. Uh, but first of all, we're going to need to contain this energy and we're going to need to contain it fast. Because this thing is just burning, burning, burning and not using any of this energy. So we need to get rid of it. Uh, before we can do that, we need to grab some of these sulfur blocks. I've, uh, I've come prepared this time. You can get sulfur from Realcraft with gunpowder. You can also use blaze powder and gunpowder. Basically it has the same effect. Uh, and you can place these in a pool of water, so let's, uh, let's put them right here, and just light them on fire. Now, watch what happens. It takes a while, apparently, but uh, if we wait long enough, it will produce sulfur uh, liquid. And the liquid sulfur, there we go, we can grab this with buckets. Apparently, we can only get eight, there we go. And the pool will restore itself, obviously. Um, so we've got these buckets. And we're going to use those as uh, as reactants to the electrodes in the big battery we're going to be making. So let's just put it right alongside here. Uh, or even across it. Do we want it across or side by side? I think we want it side by side. There we go. And if we want to revise this, we can probably just put the reactor power tap uh, or another reactor power tap here on the sides i think that's a bit neater so let's grab one of those reactor power taps and uh, let's just put them here there we go uh, this is multi-blocked once again we have to reactivate the uh reactivate the big reactor that's no problem at all i don't think we'll be needing a lot of uh, a lot more sulfur for now I don't think we'll need these buckets. What we do need is a battery controller and some battery walls. Now this is basically a copy of the uh, uh, of the big reactors mod, only it's for big batteries. So let's just make a, uh, a same sized battery. Let's see, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be seven. There we go. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and close it up. And we'll do the exact same thing. We'll build the same structure, but this time we are going to leave some space for for the electrolytes and the electrodes. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we need a lot more battery wall, I just realized. There we go. That is a lot more. So let's build this up, and I'll meet you when the structure is done. So now the structure is done, uh, we just need to put in some of these battery electrodes. So what you can do basically is you can just build these up to the top and put a power tap on top. And then you can do the same. Oh, there we go. You can do the same over here. You probably want a lot of inputs, but just one output on these big batteries. Uh, you can change these by... I think it's, yeah, shift right clicking with an empty hand. You can change it from input to output. Uh, we'll just grab one for the output. Uh, sad thing is you can't put them on the sides. You have to put them on top. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, so we can't really easily connect these up. But we'll uh, we'll manage. We'll manage. Uh, there we go. One more of those. We'll just uh, fill this up in a check pattern. And uh, then we will fill this up with the sulfur we have gathered 
because the sulfur is going to be the uh, conductor, so to speak, in this big battery. Uh, I'm not really a, f um, I'm not really qualified scientist, so I don't know if I'm saying these things right, like electrodes and electrolytes and whatnot, but. Yeah, let's uh, let's just hope I am right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we just need one more, and of course we are lacking one of these electrodes. So let's grab an electrode. There we go. And now this is done. Now we can fill the rest up with the sulfur. So let's grab these, and we have to put them in these holes right here. So I don't think we have enough, but we'll see when we get there. Oh, that's probably going to leave a burn mark if you uh, step around in sulfur. And there we go. And it looks like I'm going to have to collect a couple more. So I'll be right back. So now if we fill this up, it will multi-block just like the big reactor. And this multi-block is now done. So let's take a couple sides uh, let's make these inputs and the corners outputs we won't really be using the middle ones um, yeah we might make this an input as well why not uh, so I think that the plus is going to be the uh, input uh, you can you can max transfer it and you can do it like this uh, everything will have a max transfer rate depending on how many uh, sides touch the sulfur so you have to manually configure all of these it's a bit of a, a bit of a bum but we'll manage there we go there we go so now it will accept power so let's grab some uh, let's grab some kinesis pipes the best we've got which is probably diamond yeah there we go let's grab this output and it won't output. Okay, so we probably need an emerald kinesis pipe as well. Which is a bit of a shame. Because that one limits... Uh, limits our power to... Two and a half thousand. Um, there we go. Let's, uh, let's do it like this. I think uh, I think I've got it the wrong way around. I think the plus is the uh, the intake, and the minus is the uh, is the output. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. There we go. So let's uh, have these ones be output. Uh, we could basically do this. Have a transfer really big. Uh, we probably need more output though, because this is not going to output everything we have. This is not... Yeah, we... Yeah, this is not going to work. We need more outputs. So let's... Um, oh, come on. All these monsters around here. Um, I'm going to grab some more power ports. Power taps, really. There we go. A couple more. And uh, let's grab some more emerald kinesis pipe. I think we can manage at least four more on the side yeah I think we can manage a lot more really but I don't know if we want to so that zombie is dead let's let's kill these monsters just hit real quick let's go you too um, what we could do is just have this entire side be power ports There we go. If this entire side is power ports, then that means that we can distribute the power amongst multiple outputs. There we go. And if all these outputs would have a emerald kinesis pipe attached to them, then we can make a really complicated but intelligent network of diamond pipes there we go let's get rid of this one and now we have to get rid of this this and this 
these as well. There we go. And now we can make a big circle of diamond kinesis pipes to link these up. There we go. We're going to be using the most of our outputs. And we can have this go to the middle. So there we go. And if we put this up now... Yeah, now the entire network is going to be... Uh, It's going to be... Uh, I don't think we need these middle bits. The entire network is going to be a bit busy with handling all this power, but I think I think this is the best solution. Just do it like this. We get a lot of energy. Um, is this draining? Oh, this is not even powered. That's why it's not working. Uh, it's not gaining power just yet, so I think we are distributing all the power right now. Uh, that's good. We want that. We want to distribute all the power that's available. And I think it has found balance. Great stuff. All right. So this is charging up. This is uh, this is going to be storing 1.8 giga redstone flux. So that is a lot. We're currently at 1%. This will hold more energy than we can ever use. Great. Um... Perhaps we can make this even more efficient by having it connect to multiple sides. Uh, let's let's do it like this, I guess. Uh, we could. Uh, just wondering how I'll do this without blocking the uh, blocking those. Uh, I don't think we can. I think this is just fine. Uh, I mean, we're handling the flow, so that's good. No, we're not. We're not handling the flow, not at all. We need more, more of these. There we go. I think we'll just make this an input as well, and this one as well. And let's just do it like this. That will mean a maximum amount of three thousand. Uh, three thousand something. Uh, I mean. What's it? I mean, 30,000 something RF per tick. It's going to be transferred, and this is draining. So we don't even need this ridiculous cross. We can just use three inputs, because uh, we don't need any more than that. There we go. And we can make these... Uh, we can make these outputs... These can stay inputs for all I care. Uh, this is handling the flow, so that's good. Uh, we don't even need so much output ports, but I think it looks cool. Uh, that's what matters as well. So there we go. We are now storing all of our power, which is great. We're picking up brains as we go along too. Uh, we're making cyanide, which is good. Uh, even though we don't even need to make cyanide because I'm a bit of a jackass and we can use EMC for that. But yeah, it looks cool at least. We've got power being transferred to a big ass battery. And it's filling up. It's filling up fast. So that's good. Um, now, what to do with all that power? Well, the only thing we can do, really, in this mod pack, it's a bit limited, is either power those machines, but we've already powered those with uh, solar panels, or build more quarries. Yeah, it's a bit of a limitation in, uh, in Tekkit Legends and Tekkit Classic as well. There's not a lot you can do with the power you create. So you create tons of power, and... This is it. Uh, we could make a um, we could make a mass fabricator, uh, but it needs uh, it needs a different kind of power. It needs um, industrial craft power. We can of course convert this power, but we'll have a bit of a loss and it's a bit of a hassle. And I think we're better off just making big solar panels, uh, industrial craft solar panels for the mass fabricator. But we'll uh, we'll take a look. Why not? Uh, let's take a look at the mass fabricator. The mass fab. It takes some advanced machine blocks, lapidron crystals, advanced circuits. Uh, not too bad. A lapidron crystal is not too bad either. It's just a diamond in redstone and then it's uh, some lapis and some circuits. Uh, it's quite easy to make. I mean, we could make one right now. Um, you know what? Let's make one right now. Alright, I'm... Um, 
starting to finish this product uh let's let's watch the last couple of steps we need one lapidron crystal which is now done we need two advanced circuits which is now done and i think we can almost taste it i think we can build it let's go we've got some advanced machine blocks we've got two advanced circuits we've got enough glowstone for the entire family there we go a mass fabricator now energy to matter that's it that's right let's put these back uh, let's put these back there we go do we have some more junk in the condenser yeah we do have a couple of diamonds let's grab those uh, this mass fabricator it's gonna need a power converter probably do we have a power converter this is a small electric flux generator we probably want a big one so let's Look it up. A big electric flux generator. There we go. Uh, need some advanced circuits. An HV transformer. Block of redstone. Um, or a medium flux generator. And we don't have a medium electric flux generator either. So, um, yeah. Let's just uh, build the uh, large one. So it needs four times insulated HV cable. And an MV transformer. Which is machine block and gold wire. Now we have gold wire, it's great. Double insulated. We don't have a quadruple insulated HV wire, but that's easily remedied. There we go, that's one MV transformer. Easy as that. Uh, let's... Why is this a machines and parts? This is obviously a pipe. There we go. Uh, let's make some HV piping, shall we? Um, refined iron. I know this recipe by heart, luckily. There we go. It's a lot of wires, but we're going to need a couple. And let's grab some rubber. There we go. Four times. So if we do it like this, I believe we'll just... Oh. Apparently, if you use three rubbers, it's four times insulated. So uh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not complaining. There we go. Pipe some wires. These can go back. Now, we need the HV transformer. So we need an electronic circuit and an energy crystal. For the energy crystal, we're going to need a diamond. And some redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't know why I put up the Scottish three, but... Apparently I did. That's an energy crystal. There we go. And we're going to need um, an electronic circuit as well. We've got an electronic circuit. We've got loads. We're mass producing them. There we go. So let's craft this. Uh, let's see. Let's craft the HV transformer. Of course it won't pick up the recipe. Uh, it's not like I'm getting used to this, but I am getting used to this. Um... Was it the other way around? No, what was it? Come on. HV transformer. Alright. This. There we go. An HV transformer. Now we need some iron, some copper, a block of redstone, and some advanced circuits. Easy. And there we go. Finally one big electric flux generator. Great. So let's uh, clean up all this mess. Let's put this in the respected chests. There we go. And let's see if we can get this to work. So basically what we want is we want a we want a, uh, to put this right against oh it's uh, it's night time. Let's fix that easily. Uh, what we want to do is we want to grab one of the output ports and make it oh, come on, you're not getting me. Monsters nearby, whatever. There we go. Oh, come on. You can't hurt me, come on. There we go. Ooh, we reached level 10. We haven't reached level 10 in a long time. Oh, come on. There we go. Finally, some sleep. Great. And early morning wake up, there we go. So now that we have our big electric flux generator what i wanted to say is we probably want one of these outputs to be the big electric flux generator and the other output to be um 
to be just a normal emerald conductive uh, conductive pipe, kinesis pipe. There we go. So we can have both kinds of energy. Now this is not working properly at the moment, probably because I've got it the wrong way around. So let's grab a wrench. Shift right click on it. Still not producing any RF. So what have I done wrong? Have I made the wrong one? Do I need to craft this with itself? Oh, it's a small electric flux generator now. That's great. That's good news. So if you break it, it's going to turn into a small one. Very well. Um, it's either that or it's not getting any power because the power is being sucked out from here. So if you break one of these inputs, or two, I think that should fix the problem. If we just have one input for now. Oh, what just happened? Alright, um, <laughs> at least we're making some spare energy now. And will it create? No, it's trying to create redstone flux and that's exactly what I don't want. I want it to create... Oh, come on. Am I... Huh. Apparently I need to look this up again because I've forgotten how it works. So yeah, I'm a dummy. Apparently you need to make the, the big flux generator instead of the big electric flux generator. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And there we go. The big flux generator is creating electricity for our mass fabricator. Which is currently in the process of making the um, UU Meta, I believe it's called. Uh, UU Meta, yeah. It's going to be creating this. And you can use this if you press the use button. Oh, it doesn't show the recipes itself. Um, but it can create a lot of different things. It can uh, basically create any vanilla item in the game. And even some modded items. Uh, so it's, it's really um, just as overpowered as using EMC. Only EMC is a bit easier to use. Um, so yeah, that uh, that works. That's great. The big flux generator works. Um, we're never going to remove that ever again. So, if you feed this scrap, however, uh, scrap can be made from a recycler just by putting junk in it. Um, it will speed up the process. And I had one of these setups for a scrap uh, for a scrapper. Uh, in my earlier days, when I started with YouTube on my Dutch channel, uh, I had one of those setups, and I believe we can create something similar to that um, sooner or later. But uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the UU matter it produces in just a second. This one mass fabricator will actually take all the energy from this. I've uh, disabled these ports, so they are outputs instead of inputs. So. Uh, all of the energy we're producing, which is 18.7 uh, uh, kilo flux per tick. And it's using it all just on the mass fabricator. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, here is one UU matter. A big blob. <laughs> a nice big blob. And you can make a lot of stuff with these. If you have uh, five of these, I believe it creates iron. If you put it in a, in a shift, uh, in a cross pattern... And it's, it's basically just as good as EMC, only the, uh, the way of creating it is different. So, yeah, UU Matter, that's really good. Uh, we'll, we're going to keep this one. It's, it's our first pink blob. We need to put it in an item frame. Do we have item frames? Yes, we have. Great. We'll uh, put our first pink blob in an item frame. And uh, per perhaps we can set up some cool things to do with the... Uh, with the pink blobs next time um where do we want to put it i don't we don't really have anything in this room do we uh, perhaps we can make this a trophy room so let's let's put down the first trophy right here and we'll have some plaques and some signs i guess yeah let's grab a sign there we go uh our, f our first you matter 
There we go. First you, you matter. That's a, that's a trophy on its own. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you did like this episode, please do leave a like. It really helps the channel. Uh, if you didn't like this episode, you are free to use the dislike button. It doesn't help the channel, but at least you're being honest on the internet. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.